Hi and welcome to another how-to tutorial from The Maiden Group. Today we're going to tell you how you can add users to your microsite so more of your staff have access to edit your microsite and um, use its other benefits. So your microsite is a great tool to engage with The Maiden Group members and other UK industry professionals. So to make sure you're utilising its benefits as much as possible, it's important to set up your team with logins to your microsite to operate the live chat function, keep your news up to date and connect with potential prospects within the membership. So here's how you can add new users to your microsite. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log in by heading to my account in the top right hand corner of the Made in the Midlands or Made in Yorkshire website. If you've forgotten your password or or would like to set yourself up with a new login you can go to who are we on the uh, top of the page here and then go to the knowledge hub and uh, click the tutorial on how to reset your password. For now we'll assume that you know your credentials and that you've logged in and you will see a page that looks similar to this. So now that you have this page up you need to scroll down to this more button here um, on the left hand side of the sidebar. Click that uh, arrow there and click users once it appears. Once you've done that, you'll see everybody who already has access to your microsite. And to add new people, you would want to head to new users in the top right hand corner here. Once you've done that, you would enter in your employees credentials, so their first name, last name, email and company position which is very important so ensure to add that there too. You can make this person admin so that they have full control over editing your microsite and then lastly you can upload them a profile picture. Uh, this tends to be better for a profile as it allows people to see uh, what you look like and um, be able to connect with you maybe if there's a, a breakfast morning or uh, a physical networking event they can if they've chatted to you through the live chat, they can then see that, you, that you're that person if they meet in person or through a, a live Zoom event that we hold uh, every other week. Uh, so then you would click the uh, password function here. You would add a, a password for this person, repeat the password, and then click save new user there. It's really important that you click save new user in order to um, ensure that this person has new login details. So to check if those person's details have been added once you've clicked save new user you can head back to the users here and ensure that they've been added to this section. Thank you.